Did you tell Dave? I can't say it. Say it. Really? Say it. I've never seen Dave scared of something, so it's really odd. Got this sweet whip, bro. Dude, this whip is the sweetest. Windows Taking down, offers. Leave the keys in it because parking inside. Yeah. That off. changed my entire mind about doing it. Insert clip here of why Bad Boy is terrified. I'm gonna bleep it every time we're talking about it until we get there. That's what I think. I think you have a roped cross cane or whatever it's anchored to at a point, and you're going straight at it. Cool. So basically, where you're gonna tighten your rope at some point, but on your you way jump down, off with the side. We're going left and right. You don't jump off like straight at it. You jump off at an angle, depending who you are. <laughs> yeah, it depends. Have on you seen the video? I don't know. I'm I'm confident. Are you talking about me? I'm, no, me. Oh, good. Yeah, because I'm bad confident. Boys, Have you seen the video? Boys. Where bad boys just absolutely scared. Juice. This is definitely not for views. I'm that's terrifying. <laughs> me, Dave, and Nate, all terrified. He's making me go grab extra harnesses right now. I don't think I'll do it, but I've just never seen Dave scared of something. So it's really odd. It's really thrown off my vibe. That's why I don't want to do it. Dave scared? It's bad. Did you hear this? <laughs> I understand. But you gotta understand that the difference is I'm really heavy right now. I'm like 250 pounds right now. Guys, nothing makes me more nervous than when that guy's nervous. Exactly. I've seen him weave in and out of traffic going 90 miles per hour when it's at a standstill. Well, emailing the thing and is, texting. The thing bought, is, I'm not nervous. Stuff. The only thing I don't know is who rigged this, how their rigging job was done, what their rigging equipment looks like. So I'm not just gonna go so, throw myself off of a cliff based off of somebody's shoestring rig job. So if I'm gonna not, go check out the rigging, make sure I'm comfortable with it. If it's not good, I'll throw a Yankum rope on it and we'll be fine. If it's not nervous, what is this feeling you're feeling? Describe it to me. Guys, I wanna show you something cool real quick. You see this right here, right? Giant Navy boat that we bought for the recovery down in Lake Powell, my Pavati boat. Well, I bought this uh, from a friend at uh, Midwest Military Equipment, Joe. And when it came time to pay for it, I was actually traveling. I was on the East Coast at one of the events that we were at. The way I have my online banking set up is very secure, meaning if there's anything fishy or suspicious, my bank shuts it down immediately. And one of those things is location-based. So I went to go pay for the boat, and so I logged on, went to go process the wire, and my bank account wouldn't let me in because it was saying that there was like fraud alert and I couldn't call the bank because we were at this event and we were super stressed for time. So I jumped on, grabbed my phone and I turned on my Surfshark VPN and I said, I'm in Utah. So I was able to change the location with the VPN saying that I was trying to log in from a location here in Utah. And guess what? It worked. It allowed me to log in, send the wire transfer, pay for the boat, go recover my boat from Lake Powell, all in a couple of easy steps. See, a VPN is a virtual private network. The way it works is basically on your laptop or your phone or whatever. If you're not using a VPN, anything that you do online is basically open for anybody to grab, especially like public Wi-Fi networks where there's tons of like hackers and people like waiting to grab your information. So when you turn on the VPN, basically what it does is it encrypts all your data. So none of it becomes available. So as it's passing through the web and the internet, nobody can grab a hold of it. This also works when you're shopping for flights. So depending on your location, the device and your internet search history, when you search for a flight, they're gonna use your internet data to give you a certain price. And guess what? If you turn on a VPN, it erases all that information so they can't see it. And usually, you're gonna get a way better deal, not just on flights, but on all sorts of stuff on the internet. So guys, listen, Surfshark VPN, super easy to use. Literally, you download it, you flip one switch, bam, everything's private. So if you click the link in my description below, they're gonna give you 83% off plus the first three months for free. Also, for anybody who buys a VPN in June, they're gonna give you a free antivirus, which means you're gonna be able to protect your, all your devices, your phone, your computer, everything from viruses. It does like a regular scan to go through and make sure that there's nothing weird happening. Nobody's trying to get in there. So if you're concerned about your privacy, which all of us should be because we've seen all these data leaks and stuff that have been coming out lately, 
all you gotta do is put your mask on. Grab the VPN. This is literally something that every single one of you should be using because information is private. Information is precious. Information is dangerous and can be used against you. So if you wanna protect yourself, all of your passwords, all of your personal private information, download Surfshark VPN and get it now. If it's not nervous, what is this feeling you're feeling? Describe it to me. Skeptical. Skeptical. I'm very skeptical of other people's work. Is that a synonym for nervousness? Did you say cinnamon? So. <laughs> you like, said cinnamon. I do like cinnamon though. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of cinnamon? Generic or name brand? <laughs> I think we already know the answer to that. If you comment on my videos, hey, hey generic, hey Kroger. What, I what videos? Oh, on my YouTube and my uh, um, TikTok. All right, well, we're headed to Moab. We're gonna go do this uh, ridiculously like bungee jump rope swing through a slot canyon that I have no idea who set up. I've seen lots of videos of it. it looks really cool. But I'm going into this not scared because you guys have seen the stuff that we do skeptical of the rigging so i'm gonna make sure the rigging's good we'll get down there if i feel good about what i see then i'll be throwing myself off of a cliff today along with the rest of my guys and uh that's kind of all there is to it so it's mandatory that bad boy does it oh absolutely man I mean, here's the deal oh if he wants to remain bad boy if he wants to stay oh. <laughs> or if he just doesn't want to get bonked in the back of the head with a baseball bat and do it unconsciously either way bad boy's doing it listen alec Kroger, generic child, bad boy, if you will. If you want to remain bad boy today, all you gotta do is jump off that cliff. Simple as that. I will make Dave give you the bad boy nickname back. Can't make if you jump anything, off. But I'll think about it. If that's what it takes to get him to do it, I'll give him his nickname back. I can't promise the fans will. Oh, Shepard Show. Cards, right? Oh all, he, all he has to do is jump off the cliff. If not, he'll be Kroger forever, is what Dave said. I honestly don't care. He's now he's trying to say he doesn't care. We're gonna take a phone Who? call. Who's this? It's my wife. Hey. Oh, let me turn on speaker. <laughs> say that one more time. You're on speaker now. He said maybe that's what his problem is. He got lost his bad boy name, and now he's just pissed off about life. Now I'm more of a bad boy than ever. Here we are near a place called Mineral Base with Mason. Mineral Basin, Basin. Mineral Big Canyon. Uh, you guys may remember, we actually uh, did a video here where we explored an old mine, which we'll throw back to here in a minute so you can see kind of the vicinity of where we're at. So we just flew in and we saw the slack line set up and the bungee jump swings that they have set up. It's wild. There's ropes running everywhere. And actually right before we landed, we were able to see somebody jump off and uh, he did a gainer, I believe. We got all sorts of gear, we're hiking down here. We don't know most of the guys here. In fact, I don't know who set this up. Other than Brandon Gross, you guys remember Mr. Ambulance who got stuck? I'm not sure who's with him. I'm not sure who coordinated this whole, whole thing, but there's a ton of people down here. So looks like a big group effort. But before I jump, I'm going to inspect every single anchor point. You know who I want to be, David? Myself. Kroger? No, myself. Then Kroger. <laughs> Today's the day you could become perma bad boy. I'd never call you Kroger again. You'd what only be bad boy from here on out. And all you have to do is just do a little, little bit bigger swing than what you did as a kid on those wing sets. What's up, man? <laughs> you guys came out? For sure. Absolutely. Good to see you. So you guys remember this guy, right? Last time we saw you, you were stuck in a couple feet of snow. Yeah, way up in the mountain. Yeah. A little different climate here. This different nice climate, thing. yeah. Is this uh, our uh, reward for rescuing you? 
Yeah, yeah. This is this is my payment this is for payback. yeah, you yeah. know. Since you don't accept monetary payment, no. I'll pay you in something. So this is why we got a text last night at midnight <laughs> with a video of this, and he's like, "Hey, you guys want to do this?" And and then he was he was clever enough to text all my guys, and then the guys got all excited, and then the peer pressure started because today we were supposed to be doing something else. Are you, uh, he's texting, do this, or are you too scared? <laughs> I've learned how to, also how did to a get call him out. to do yeah. things. Yeah. This is a bit of a call out. So stoked you're here, bro. Yeah, I do YouTube man. as well. Yeah. That's what's your channel? Uh, it's called Zealous. 100%. What do you do? Just this kind of stuff? Uh, kind of. We're like we're, we're going more into like the stunts niche a little bit. Nice. But, like we like mix pop culture and stunts a lot. Oh, cool. Yeah. Are you gonna jump? Hell yeah. Oh really? You bet. I don't know. Not sure. They we're can not sure. <laughs> the only thing that I said is I'm gonna go look at all the rigging points first because that's what I do for a living is rig things. So <laughs> okay. I, yeah. I make sure. That makes me feel comfortable. <laughs> and I'm a heavy boy. I'm 250 pounds. So you're the heaviest one to hit. I was gonna say, is there a weight limit? We've done like 400 ish pounds because we've done tandem. Two people jumping. What's your name? Ryan. Ryan, good to meet you. Nice to meet you. You should have totally just messed with him and been like, well, the heaviest guy's been like. 205 so far. Yeah. Like, oh, no. We're about messing with you guys by hovering right on the edge of the cliff. Who set it up? So this is one of the main guys right here. This is Who's Trout. That? Hey, Trout. Dave. Dave, nice to meet Trout? you. I'm stoked you guys are out here. This is going to be sick. Thank you for setting it up. It's Absolutely. Cool, we won't do this for a while. Yeah, I'll tell you. Sweet. This is the other main guy. What's up, man? Dave. Good Dave. Meet you. What was your name? I'm sorry. Dave. Oh, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're all Dave. Yeah, we have a couple more people to get through on our crew, and then we're about to get you guys off. A little venture pop right next to the edge. Crazy. Is this just your people, man? Yeah. <laughs> look at what I'm wearing. Wait, bad boy. This is your first look onto the drop. What do you think? I don't wanna. No, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I'm fine with it. I'm not gonna jump, but I'm fine with it. I'm just not remembering how much I dislike heights. Three, two, one. The wind noise is wild. That is crazy. I didn't expect that. That's cool. Do you test it with like a rock or something first? We usually test it with a pack. Like so a cool. pack full yeah. of rocks, but maybe we did We just sent it this time. <laughs> this was our pack test. Yeah. Rigger jumps first. I feel like you and Dave could pull her up yourself. I think probably good. <laughs> just sit there. I don't know if we'll get the record, but. All right, we're ready to haul. Start. Go. <laughs> get it, get it. Get it all in stuff. I don't like I'm going down. He's going faster up than down. <laughs> faster. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh. Alright, that's all of her weight right there. He's still doing it all himself. <laughs> walk, 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 walk. <laughs> We're on track for fastest time. Let's go. Alright, slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Walk up the wall, Mabel. Keep it going. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep back into it. And stop! Yeah. Yeah. That was by far the fastest. <laughs> you did the first half by yourself. <laughs> I was just catching slack in the rope. Oh, <laughs> alright. What? 25 seconds faster than the record? Something like that. <laughs> 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 Yesterday I rappelled off of this down to the cliff. That was the scariest thing I think I've ever done. My, dude, everyone was watching me and I was like, yeah. In five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you. It's been there for a while. The same ones the guys been using forever. Uh, the bolts have been here for a long time, but then like we come and rig everything. Like everything other than the bolts is our How many equipment. Bolt points are there? We yeah. use three on each three side. side. Yeah. So these are the anchors they're talking about. Looks like uh, probably a. Looks like at least a five eighths bolt. So the bolts get drilled into sandstone, which, as you know, sandstone is made of sand, so it has a tendency to crumble. So you gotta get them pretty deep. That's what she said. <laughs> nice thing is they have multiple anchor points out here. So here's some that they use. Probably for one of the old swings. Everything about this is all about redundancy. So if something fails, it's all about like even right now with the lines that they have uh, going, if one snaps, there's a second one there ready to catch you. Now that one, that first one snaps, it's still gonna be a terrifying ride, but you're not gonna fall to your death. One, two, three, four main anchor lines. And you can see everything's got like padding and stuff on it. Cause you don't want any chafage on your rope. More padding here. And then all of that clips through and runs through one last final anchor at the end there. So this has five anchor points, 
other side, I'm guessing the same way. The one thing that's crazy to me is the confidence that they have in this one slack line. And there's one ribbon right here. This is basically what's holding all the weight. Well, it's nylon webbing, so it's ready for it. Everything like about the rigging is kind of based off of redundancy. You've got your main line, which is where the weight is on, and then this backup is loose just so that it's not weighted. So like how redundancy works is like if it was double tensioned, it's not necessarily redundant, it's just really strong. And that you still right there is enough to be able to prevent mm -hmm. yep. any contact the ground. Yep, yep, yep. So that's like, it looks like a lot right now, right. but actually that backup is really only five meters longer than the main line. Yeah, it looks like a lot, but it's really not. So like right now, my buddy Gavin is on that line right there. So he's walking on that main line, but then that backup just stays. Jumping in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> No one has bolted new stuff in a while. So you got like your main line yeah. and your backup line and they, all of those have like sewn loops through them. Uh -huh. And so like you've got like one soft shackle that goes through the main line mm -hmm. and then a backup one that goes through the soft shackle that's going through the main line and back around. Nice. So everything's connected at four points. Yeah. And then you just have the leash rings over it and it's yeah stationary. Let's go look at the other side. It's less promising because it's on a rock outcropping. See that rock outcropping has got a nice big crack in it. There's some two by fours on it. Yeah. No, see that whole, that whole rock outcropping. That side looks great. It's bolted into like, well, actually it doesn't look as great from over here either. <laughs> Might have to do some weight reduction, take my boots off. Yeah! You not get tangled up in the rope when you do a whole bunch of front flips like that. So when you're falling, you're... Gra you're... You, you, you can... Gravity's pulling you faster than the ropes. So you're pulling the ropes down. Uh -huh. So when you're, it, like I've done, I've done like tons of flips and stuff. Uh -huh. And the, just the way you're falling, it would be very, you'd have to be going, I don't even know if it's possible. This homie who's about to jump, best freestyle highliner in the world. Really? You hear that? You get a front row seat to the best freestyle highliner in the world. Out at that point might be a really good This is when uh, Dave and I got into high lining and swinging, you know? The future of the Heavy D channel. <laughs> hey, I say we go tandem. <laughs> yeah. Just sit like how you spider on a swing set. You guys think you could hold 500 pounds? What? You put on a shirt. Yeah, I put on a shirt. I, I barely recognize it. We're all rooting for you. Mainly yeah, because you're willing to fly the helicopter and get us home. <laughs> I will ruin the helicopter, but I could probably get us there maybe. And he goes for one more loop. Look at this. How dare you guys tell us? One more loop. Look at that. How dare you? I go to the other side. <laughs> 
and then as he's falling, he's kicking his leg back the other direction. Do you remember these guys over there saying, no, it's impossible to get wrapped up in the road. <laughs> I got the shot of the trip. It's good. Good. I've been so You've been lately. slacking lately. I've been so bad. I've been in uninspired. This is inspiring. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> that was unreal. It was so sick. It was so smooth. You're still shaking a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Am I shaking? I'm probably shaking because I'm freaking worn out. It wasn't scary at all. Like zero. It was. It was so worn out just falling. <laughs> That's why. It really, dude. It really was just such a freaking. It, honestly, my core workout from seeing they're holding yourself while you're dangling. It's uh, slow mo. It's worth it. I promise. Oh, that slow-mo is awesome. It's it's... See ya! <laughs> oh no, right around my boot. Yeah, watch it. It gets three full wraps before you kick it off. How did that wrap so many times? I don't know. How'd you get it off? I, I just reversed the way it came on. It's like I felt like I had time. As I was falling, I was like, okay, well shit, my leg's wrapped. Let's just start doing the reverse wrap. I was like, one wrap, two wraps, and then the rope started to get tight, and then it just did the third wrap for me. It was awesome. Like, you're gonna go do the sickest cannonball you've ever seen. Of all the cannonballs you've ever seen, this is gonna be sick. Hey, you have to hold the cannonball all the way to the other end. We call that the wrecking ball. The wrecking ball? <laughs> I have a very important announcement. And everyone to listen to what I've gotta say. Okay, let's go. Dave just pulled off a cannonball. I don't know how he held his legs. That was incredible. Thanks, man. That was rad. Thank you guys very much. Right when you jump, all worries, everything goes yeah, away. That's true. And everything's just super relaxing. It's like, I could hold this cannonball forever. It's a surreal experience. If you get a chance, you better do it. Did you see him, Dave, cannonball off? Yeah, it was awesome. He quoted Anchorman. Cannonball! It's way mellower than you think. Well, let's see. All right. Dude, I'm nervous. You ready? I'm so nervous. Dude. That nervousness is going to go away. Yeah, yeah, it's true. This is the last time we saw Eric. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> last time you saw him as a boy, am I right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Jumping in three, two, one. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was a deep guttural noise. Oh, stop right there. Eric, two. One!